Well, the town is really a little Holland. Pella was founded in 1847 by a group of 800 Hollanders who came from the Netherlands with their leader, Hendrik Peter Skolte, to find religious and economic freedom. There are a lot of windmills in Pella because there are a lot of windmills in the Netherlands. Uh, we have several that are decorative. We also have the Vermeer windmill, which is the tallest windmill, working windmill in the United States. It's 125 feet tall and it grinds wheat. I enjoy uh, volunteering here at the mill. I, uh... I uh, found out about uh, the windmill by moving to Pella and uh, uh, got really interested. I have a passion for uh, woodworking, custom-made furniture, uh, and sailing, and windmills kind of bring all that together. The whole cap can rotate 360 degrees. But why is that? <laughs> we want to be able to point the, uh, the windmill into the wind to be able to mill grain. Well, the bakery has been here since 1898. It was started by my great-grandfather. My husband and I own it now. We're the fourth generation to own and operate it. We're known for our Dutch letters, which is a puff pastry filled with almond paste, and they make them in the initial of the person they're giving them to. Uh, in Belt Meat Market in Pella, Iowa. We've been here since 1941. We have our Pella bologna that's kind of put us on the map. And then we do uh, three different flavors of beef jerky. And since this was a boyhood home of Wyatt Herb, we call it the rugged Wyatt Herb jerky. Tulip time is always the first weekend in May. About 200,000 people descend on our little town of 10,000 over three days. Uh, people are in Dutch costumes, there are parades, scrubbing streets, Dutch dancing. It's a fantastic time to come and visit Pella, and the tulips are always gorgeous. Hey Dateline fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on the button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch digital exclusives and original content from the creators of Dateline.